at ease soldiers sergeant fury here gonna go in a little bit more fine detail on this special operation that starts tomorrow for everybody who bought the year two pass okay not the season pass okay not the year one pass not the ghost war pass right not the gold edition collector's edition right only if you bought the year two pass right 30 bucks okay so ghost recon and rainbow six are joining forces on the 24th tomorrow when a special mission dubbed operation archangel arrives as part of the ghost recon wildlands free special operations to update spanning two parts and set in the province of caymans operation archangel will team up will team the ghosts with rainbow six siege operators twitch and valkyrie as they track down caveria who's gone missing okay so now it says in two parts so whether or not this is going to be like you know special operations two and then special operations three i don't think so i think you're going to team up first with one operator and then you're going to team up with the other operator i think but we'll see in the, tomorrow like special operation two operation archangel is free to all ghost recon wildlands players and those who complete the mission before Alex 14th will earn Cavera's gloves, enable them to use her close quarter combat movement and reveal the position of nearby enemies, which is cool. Players will also be able to grab Rainbow Six gear pack, which includes Cavera's Lucent handgun, Valkyrie's Shemag scarf, Twitch's Skull Bakula, and a custom HK416 assault rifle. That's the one you see him in the trailer. If you watch the trailer, you see him, everybody using that. In addition to Operation Archangel, Special Operation 2 adds Ghost Mode, which we already talked about, right? A new way of tackling the player versus environment campaign featuring Permadeath, right? A host of tweaks designed to create a more hardcore experience, including a new reload mechanism that tosses out any bullets left in your clip. If you swap in a new one, it's ideal for, ideal for players looking for a higher risk challenge. Additionally, Special Operation 2 adds two new player versus player maps and an observer spectator mode to Ghost War. Okay. Now, specifically, this is what I was talking to uh, AI Blue Fox about. He didn't think it was coming to Ghost War, the observer mode. And I told him, dude, this is going to suck for you guys because that person can log into Discord with his friends and just tell them where everything is going on. So. Along with two new Rainbow Six Siege inspired player versus player classes, Toxic, which we just saw in the video uh, earlier, which I showed you earlier, which is great, throws those toxic grenades. Now, he definitely looks like a division agent from the division, right? On Rainbow Smoke, that's that guy. And he can deploy during that creates loud clouds of toxic smoke, while Surgeon, based on Doc, carries a, a stem. STIM stem pistol that can revive teammates. You saw that, right? Basically, so it's like you shoot that pistol and get them up with a grenade thingy instead of using a healing drone. With so much new stuff incoming, we spoke to senior producer Nori Nori Dean Nori Dean Ab Abud to find out how this crossover started and how Team Rainbow will change the game and what else Special Operations Two has to offer. So, he said, uh, Year 2 of Ghost Recon Wildlands is a perfect opportunity for us to expand the universe of the game. We know that our community has a strong instance of Rainbow Six Siege. Does like the number 4, 5, or 6 played every day on Get Hype. If you go check out Get Hype, you go see it's like, yeah, it's played like all the time. So, what they're trying to do is get people who play Rainbow Six Siege to come and play Ghost War because Ghost War is basically, you know, basically dying. So that's why they're going to have the friendly fire mode, which I know they're going to have in there, and all that, right? So they basically confirmed it right here, you know, so that they are going to have the observer more mode, and that means more, uh, more than likely this ghost mode might be in, in there too, but we won't know again until tomorrow morning. Okay. So, they want to know how much back and forth there was with the Rainbow Six team on the story and how these operators should behave. During the concept and the pre-production phases, we daily had conversations with the Rainbow Six Siege team to determine which operators they wanted to include. We really wanted the operators to be relevant to the story and settings, but we also needed to make sure players had meaningful interactions with them. 
Okay, so here's the whole layout right here. Two free special missions, right, and a special challenge, right? So again, I don't know if you'll be able to do both these missions exactly at the same time or how they're going to break this all down and with special challenges, right? So we're going to have solo challenge, task force, community. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. No tomorrow, right? And then obviously they're going to have the gloves, the voice line and emote, and you get a Rainbow Six Siege t-shirt. I already have the, uh, we have one of the weapons already. Which weapon do we have? The R6? And we already have one of their weapons already, right? So, anyways, we're also going to have ghost mode, correct? And be able to toggle our AI off and on, thank God. Prestige economy revamped, okay? And it goes up to 999 for what Delta Elite said on his video today. Emotes, voice lines, and victory poses, yeah, big deal. New Rainbow Six Siege icons and customization. Yeah, they got six more of those characters coming, right? Player versus player, okay? New observer mode, two new classes, two new maps, post-match screen victory, player versus player, daily challenge. So they're getting to have these challenges just like in the division. We have daily challenges, right? And we have weekly challenges. And so, you know, they're moving. They're moving that way. Okay. The main challenge was to develop a storyline that is both thrilling and coherent. We want to provide reference to gameplay moments that mix both the best worlds. We hope the crossover will offer new exciting experience to players. If you're a Rainbow Six, Six Siege player, sure, it's going to make perfectly good sense. But if you don't play that game at all, you ain't going to. You're not going to be. You're going to be clueless as to what the hell they're talking about or what's going on. To you, it's just going to be another mission in the long line of missions that we've been doing. So again, they're 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 obviously banking on that group of players coming over and using the five free hours, you know, firing up the game and then trying to do this crap in just a few hours or buying the game is um, you know so obviously it's probably going to go online. I mean, go online. It's probably going to go on sale here online and in the Ubisoft store again. The main challenge, right? They want to have all this. One of the most important parts of creating content was for its behavior and attitude of the Rainbow Six Siege operators. We want the fans, right, to recognize them instantly. Again, that's people who play this game on a daily basis, which I would say, given how popular it is, at least half the players that play this are already playing Ghost War already. You know what I mean? I think I think there's there's already a gimme because I think a lot of those people in Ghost War came out last October, said yeah that's a great thing. Let me jump into that too. So because it is a little nichey community, it's not a lot of people that play it. But anyways, moving on. Okay, how does this mission feature in uh, Rainbow Six overall lore? What will the players learn about these operators by playing the mission? In Operation Arcadia, the players have to tracking down. Kavira in Bolivia, she won't be the only operator making an appearance. The ghost will be helped by Valkyrie via radio communication, and we we'll joined by Twitch on the ground. Uh, so, technically, you don't get to work with this one other than the voice. We definitely do not want to spoil much about the mission, blah, 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 yeah. Um, how will Kavira and Twitch individual gadgets and skill play in? Players will be able to recognize signature moves, right? Be able to unlock. Uh, if they finish a the mission, how, observer mode. Is it just for downed allies in game or friends can even win it? A player cannot join a custom lobby in a dedicated slot and act as a observer of the match. They will have specific tools at hand that make the match more friendly, spec, spectator friendly, sorry. Being able to see a player's location, load out, deploy down, and follow their point of view. Just the observers have access to a free roam camera following you, allowing you to roam the battlefield. Okay, this is also a great tool for players who want to watch and organize tournaments. Yeah, I mean, to me, it sounds exactly what it is. Is basically you're going to be able to go into a yeah custom lobby in a dedicated slot. Okay, so they'll have to have a game going knowing they're going to have observers, which is not a big deal because that's, you know, that's just people are going to have that. You know what I mean? So, again, I think there's going to be a lot of abuse on that, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll know tomorrow. What drove the decision to include full body emotes in a victory scheme? 
Oh, because they have them in all the other games. What do you mean? That's the biggest thing in the division is when they can run up there and, and smack you with their rifle or pistol and then dance around you like a bunch of clowns. And I said, dude, if I did that in the real military in combat, right, or anybody, if they shot somebody in combat and then ran over there and then butted them upside the head and danced around them, man, they'd be like putting you in a padded cell, bro. You'd be like PTS and D, you know, that's like, so again, you guys that like that may think it's cool. To me, it's sort of childish. You know what I mean? I get satisfaction out of just killing you. I don't have to go fucking dance around you and pee on your body and do chicken dances and all the other. But again, you know, they're, they're catering to the 15 to 30 year old group, you know, the kids, us older folks, you know, if you're, if you're into that shit, then great. You're a child at heart, a kid at heart, and my hat's off to you. Okay, but no, I'm not, I'm way past all that. Okay, so obviously you can earn the gloves after completing the operation before, which date again? Which date? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Were you guys listening early? August 14th. There you go. All right. Whoever said that, go to the top of the fucking comment section there. All right, give you a, we'll give you a little heart. Okay. What will the toxic and surgical classes ask the ghost mode and how the abilities work? Toxic and Surgeon are directly inspired by Rainbow Six Siege, Smoke, and Dock. Yes. Toxic uses his drone to deploy a large cloud of toxic smoke, which allows players to both trap the enemy team and create a denial. Surgeon uses a slim pistol, stim pistol to be able to revive his team from a distance. So I'm assuming that they said that you can do those, and how do they add to Ghost Mode, which means Ghost Mode is going to be player versus player. Because it sure looks like these guys are going to be in player versus player, right? They're reviving their teammates from a distance. And you know what I mean? If you're playing those icon characters, that's what player versus player does, right? They play those characters. Okay. How will players are proximity mines in player versus environment? Okay. Proximity mines will be unlocked for our players as soon as they download special operations to update tomorrow or on the 31st. Again, if you didn't buy the year two pass, right? They are accessible as a tool, right? Grenades or mines. Da, da 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 okay. Where did the idea for Ghost Mode come from? Has community been asked for a steeper challenge? Ah, yeah, of course. We have seen a lot of requests for community provide a way to rediscover the main campaign under new light. This is what will let us to develop Ghost Mode with new thrilling conditions, including permanent. Remember, we said we wanted to keep all our weapons and our tier mode and all that, but start all over again. And hence, this is where they came up with this, right? Okay. So. What do you hope to learn from how players engage in ghost mode? Oh, they're going to learn all sorts of cool stuff. Ghost mode is a new experiment for the Ghost Recon team. We're excited to see the reaction in the community. It goes live. We never, and why they didn't do a closed beta and open beta and all that, who in a frick knows, but this is how they roll shit, right? Because to me, it would have made more sense to do that and realize all the shit's going to hit the fan tomorrow in the forum because we'll probably do a video on that too. But anyways... Okay, so we've already reached tier one, right? Unlocking hard is difficult. Now we can wait to see how players adapt to new condition and whether play in tier one mode or in difficult mode. Okay, Ghost for Command, Kevin the Famous for doing these crossers, first a Predator and Sam Fish, and now Rainbow Six have become famous. Now you guys became famous, man, for doing rinse and repeat of all the challenges, man. How many times did we do the Predator and then twice Sam Fisher? Holy shit, he only came out a month ago. Okay. It's very exciting to expand the Ghost Recon universe during these past few months. We definitely have more ideas in mind. I bet you do. Uh, that sounds scary now. Depending on the feedback from the community, we how we develop the rest of the Ghost Recon universe. Right on. Okay. Our community is truly the heart of everything we do in year two. Here we go. Here comes the stroke in you guys. We've been lucky to get a lot of feedback on the game, which allows us to keep on fine-tuning it and add to a way that satisfies the community. Special operations update allows us to address community wants like the teammate customization option and option special operations one. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, ghost mode and special operations two. We're excited to keep delivering new and exciting content. Let us change their weapons. We change their clothes, but let us change their actual weapons that they're carrying and all that shit. Does that sound better, guys, right? And, and let them drive, right? Instead of us driving all the time, let them get in the vehicle and we make like a little waypoint on the map and they like sort of drive there just like Santa Blanca and Unidad and all those guys do. That would rock, right? Okay, so there's a couple little quickies right there. Okay, so there you go. 
this is what we're going to do. I'm going to throw this video up real quick. Again, I hope you guys enjoy this. It sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun to do all this. And I'm sure we have a lot more questions to ask them. And you guys have a lot more questions. Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe button. And down in the comment section, put all your questions. And I will try to answer all of them tomorrow. And, of course, we'll be doing live stream and figuring out what the hell is going on with all this. Uh, like ASAP, first thing as soon as it breaks in the morning. Okay. So, again, um, this is, let's uh, go ahead and play this uh, trailer one more time for you guys. Nomad, this is Valkyrie. One of our operators recently went off grid, and we suspect she's in Bolivia. She's a good operator, but she can get carried away. We need to move fast. We already have an operator on the ground in Bolivia. Her name is Twitch. Link up with her and show her what you found. Dead bodies G I G N is the French. Guevara's special forces. Obviously. Guevara did this. Know that, right? You better hope she's in a good the mood when we find her. Tell me everything you know. Tell me everything you know. The fucking devil killed us. This all looks like Rainbow Six stuff, Breaking right? Where they blow the door and then drop these skylights and stuff. Which would be rocking if we get to start doing this stuff. We already breach. We already have C4, but yeah, that but all I dropping through the skylight stuff is pretty cool. So we'll see what's happening. But as always, this is Sergeant Fury. And until I see you guys tomorrow. At ease.